it just makes sense to move freight from the road to the railway. At the end of the day, you've got a finite amount of real estate with both of them. We're not going to put any more blacktop down. We will create some more new railways. We have control over how we use the railway. We can't control who goes on the road network. Equally, again, you're decarbonising. And if we can electrify more of the railway, you can also decarbonise rail freight further. You can electrify um, HG HGVs if you like, but that doesn't decongest the roads. One rail freight driver equals 76 HGV drivers. It's, it's, the maths aren't difficult. We really need to think, think hard about the ways we can use, use rail freight rather than road freight. A lot of it is about looking at how, how we do the intermodal connections. So you can, move, you can move the big distances on the railway. How do you do it from the railhead into people's homes, in, into factories, into retail outlets? We've got to think much harder about that. But it, that, that's all entirely doable. We also need to think more broadly, again, how, about how we can use rail capacity. How can we start um, moving parcel freight? out of lorries onto the railway. There's so much more opportunity for that, particularly if you start looking at how much you can move at night. There is spare capacity on the railway, we're just not using it. We're always going to need to make journey, journeys on road. We don't need to use that space with freight. We just really don't. We've got space on the railway, we can use that. Freight belongs on rail.